In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Analytics 4 with server-side Google Tag Manager. Let's dive in. Hey, and welcome to the channel. My name is Leon. This channel exists to help you make better decisions in your daily work using your web stats. Before we head into the tutorial, I've got two things to share with you. First of all, in the video description, you'll find affiliate links to a service called Stape. I believe that's the easiest way to get started with server-side Google Tag Manager. And if you sign up, via that link, you'll support the channel at no extra cost to you. Secondly, I've created a short cheat sheet on how you can grow your website traffic. So if you're interested in growing your website traffic, just head over to the video description for a free download link there as well. All right, with that out of the way, let's hop over into Google Tag Manager to set up Google Analytics 4 with server-side Google Tag Manager. You might not be aware, but server-side Google Tag Manager actually requires a regular container installed on our site as well. And this is an empty container that I'm gonna start out with today. And I've also got a server side Google Tag Manager container right here. So you need both. I've created a separate tutorial on how to set up your server side Google Tag Manager container. And in the video description, you'll find a link to a full playlist of all the videos on how to set this up. I assume you have that by now if you start out with the tutorial. And if you don't have it, just go back into the video description and watch this tutorial later. First of all, I wanna set up Google Analytics for in my regular container. You might be already very familiar with this, so feel free to skip ahead, but I'm gonna do it anyway for those of you who aren't that familiar with it. So let's start by adding our Google Analytics tag first. So I like to number my tag, so I'm gonna call this uh, GA4config, and I'm working on my own domain right here. I'm setting up Google Analytics and I'm setting up a Google tag. And this um, asks me for a tag ID. So I'm gonna go over to Google Analytics 4. I'm gonna go into the admin, into data streams. I'm gonna click my data stream here and I'm copying my measurement ID from my web stream. I'm gonna go back into my Google Tag Manager and I'm gonna paste it in here. And what I really like to do is not just paste it in here, but I'm gonna make a variable I'm gonna call that GA4 measurement ID. I'm gonna make it a constant variable. I'm gonna paste it in right here. And that way I can just reference this variable and it will just automatically grab that number for me. So in the future, I don't have to look up the same number again and again. And um, it's a best practice to trigger this on initialization all pages. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. And um, yeah, that's it for the configuration. So this is just the basic tag. This will make sure that the page views are tracking, but also will track file downloads. It automatically tracks like people that searched on my site. If you have a search engine, people that clicked external links, it does all kinds of things by default scroll depth, but I want to track some extra events as well. For instance, I want to track my contact form. So that's my second tag and I'm going to call it a GA4 event contact form submit. That's what I uh, like to call this event. It's a Google Analytics 4 event. So I need this tag. Under measurement ID, I can just look up my measurement ID variable that I've just created. I'm gonna paste in the event name, contact form submit. This is the event that I want to track. And this needs to trigger on the thank you page of my contact form. So basically, if people go to leoncortzeg.nl, my website, and uh, go into the contact form and fill out this form, there's a thank you page. I think it's right here. Yeah, there you go. And um, this is the URL. And I'm gonna create a trigger for that. So real quick, a form trigger. This is my naming convention, and it is um, the contact form. I'm gonna do a DOM ready on page path contains contact bedankt. Yeah, so this is my thank you page. So this event is tracked on the contact form. The last event that I wanna show is a, an event that I really like to build on almost every setup that I do, GA4 event, and it's called link click. So it's a GA4 event, same measurement ID, just grabbing that from the variable. The event name is called link click. I've got a couple of event parameters that I want to track. Link text, link URL, and I could do link ID and link classes, but in reality, I never use that in reporting. So I'm gonna omit that right here to keep it a little bit brief. So under link text, I want to the clicked text here. So that's under built-ins, click 
text and uh, the link URL needs the clicked link. So that's also under built-ins right here. So click URL. I want to track this event on every clicked link. So I'm just going to make a new trigger and I'm going to call this trigger click all links. So just links, all link clicks. There you go. I'm going to hit save. So this is my like very simple, very basic client side setup. And let's just test this real quick to see if it actually works. I'm going to go into my homepage. This is what I want to test. I'm going to log out. There you go. Let's test this. I'm going to connect it and um, I'm going to go into Google Analytics under data display debug view. So still under admin and then uh, data display debug view. And I'm going to test if these events are coming in. By the way, this doesn't always work. So don't panic if this screen doesn't uh, show up. There might be a filter in place or something else. This is not the most reliable screen in GA4. But I see already a page view come in around the time that I um, opened up this page. So this works. Also, I want to check if um, my link clicks are working. I'm just going to click on this button and I'm going to go into this screen and see if the link click is being tracked. So I see that the event is tracked here. Let's go into Google Analytics. Yeah, link click. There you go. Link URL, link text. Yeah. And let's find out if the thank you page is also being tracked. Test, test at test.nl, test send at DOM ready. Yeah, there's a contact form submit. And let's also see if this works. No, I don't want to track this. This is not the form that I'm looking for or not also. Yeah, contact form submit, there you go. So the setup that I've just built is working. All right, there's one thing that I want to show you here. And that is that if I inspect my website right now, so I right click on my website and I go into the network tab, I'm just gonna look for the uh, Google Analytics event. So you can do that by searching for collect. I'm tracking via the Google Analytics domain right here. And the next step is to bring the GA4 data into our server. So we're not tracking through the Google Analytics domains directly, but we're tracking through our own domain. So let's go over how you can do that right now. All right, now that we have set up our client side container, let's go over how we can bring this data into our server side Google Tag Manager container. And I already have a server side container set up right here. It's under the uh, subdomain on site, d.leonkortweg.nl. And I'm gonna preview that container also right here. So if I hit preview, we get a screen of all the incoming data that's coming into our container. And um, well, it needs a little work here. Yeah, there it is. So this is a preview screen of all the data that's coming in. And um, there's a simple change that we need to do in our GA4 config tag to make this whole setup go server side. So in the tag configuration, I'm gonna open up the configuration settings and I'm gonna add a parameter and I'm gonna call this parameter server container URL. There it is. And under value, I'm gonna paste in HTTPS semicolon slash slash D dot Leon dot NL. This is basically the same value that I see right here. And this is where my server container is. This is where we're gonna send the data. I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna preview this container. There you go. And if I go under inspect and under network, if I look for the word collect, here is the J4 data. And we already see that it is sent not to Google Analytics 4 servers, but it's being sent to my own state server d.leoncortech.nl. And if I open up my server container and my preview mode, which has been running in the background while I was browsing the website right here, I see that there are all kinds of events being sent in. So here is a page view event, a user engagement. And if I click a link, for instance, the same link click event yeah, is right here. So what you will find is that if you set up a server container URL in your config, that all the underlying events that are linked to that measurement ID are all routed via your server. So all the events are now coming in to my Google Tag Manager server-side container. 
but it doesn't have any tags. So data is coming in, but the data is not being forwarded anywhere. And we can also see that by going into the debug screen, because even though I've generated a lot of events already, none of them actually come into GA4. So for that to happen, we need to configure our server-side Google Tag Manager container to kind of forward the incoming data through to GA4. And we can do that by hitting a new tag in our server container. And I'm just going to call this 0101 Google Analytics 4. And under tag configuration, I'm going to choose Google Analytics. I'm going to say Google Analytics 4. I'm going to leave the measurement ID empty. And I do that because the events here already contain a measurement ID. It's probably somewhere under event data. If I'm going to look for measurement, ah, yeah, here it is. So it's already containing a measurement ID. And if I leave this empty, it's just going to forward the data to the measurement ID that is uh, present here. Then the event name, I'm also going to leave this empty because if I leave this empty, it's just going to forward the event name that is on the incoming event. So in this case, it's a page view. In this case, it's a link click event. So if I leave this empty, it's just going to forward the incoming event as is to the servers of Google Analytics 4. As a trigger, I'm going to not say all pages because that's going to only forward the page view events and I want to kind of forward all events. So I'm going to make a new trigger here and I'm going to call this all GA4 events. And under trigger configuration, I'm going to say custom event. I'm going to say use regex. I'm going to say dot star. And this basically means just forward all events. And in some cases, I want to exclude events. So I can say event name does not contain for instance, if I don't want to send a link click for some reason, I can exclude that right here. But in this case, I just want to send all incoming events just to GA4. And let's hit save and let's hit save. And I'm going to hit preview again. So the preview screen kind of refreshes and um, let's just refresh our page right here. So again, there's a page view coming in, but now on the page view event, there's a Google Analytics 4 tag fired. And if I open up my debug view, and this sometimes takes a while, but we will see our events coming in right here again. Yeah, there they are. So because I have switched to a server side setup, it's now using a different cookie. So it's recognizing my session under a different device. But here are the incoming events from my server. And um, this is how I can verify that my setup is working. I can even fill out my contact form again. So let's do that. Test. Test. And let's hit send. There you go. And if I open up my debug screen right here, I see a contact form submit coming in. And the Google Analytics 4 tag is firing. And it's just going to forward the event as it is. So if I open up my debug screen right here, I see the contact form submit coming through as well. All right, that's it for today. I hope this video was clear. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or if you'd like to suggest a topic for a new video, just head over to the comments and leave your message right there. I always love to hear from you guys. Also, if you like this video and want to watch more, just head over to my profile. You'll find many, many videos and tutorials on Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics and similar topics just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.